configuring multi-factor authentication on windows can enhance the security of your system by requiring additional verification beyond just a password here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to configure multi-factor authentication on windows the first option is by using built-in multi-factor authentication windows hello offers a secure built-in multi-factor authentication option using biometrics or pins here's how to enable it on your windows pc open settings press windows plus i on your keyboard to open the settings app navigate to accounts sign in options under windows hello choose your preferred method facial recognition which requires a compatible camera fingerprint which also requires a fingerprint reader and the pin which is a simple numeric code click setup Verify your password and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. The second option is by using Microsoft account. If you use a Microsoft account to sign into Windows, you can enable multi-factor authentication through your Microsoft account settings. To sign in to your Microsoft account online, open your preferred web browser and type account.microsoft.com Log in with your Microsoft account credentials. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in from here. Set up two-step verification. Under security tab, click two-step verification. Now you would have to identify yourself with the recovery code or clicking the presented email to receive the sign-in code through your email. Type in the code received and click verify. Under advanced security options, turn on two-step verification. Click next to proceed with the process. Follow the prompts to set up additional verification methods like an authenticator app, alternate email, or phone number. An authenticator code will be sent to you regardless of the option you choose. Enter the code and click next. Two-step verification is successfully turned on. A 25-character recovery code will be issued to you if you ever need to recover access to your account from which you can print and keep at a safe place. The next time you log into Windows, you will need to verify using the selected method. You can also set these apps and devices up with an app password later. Click finish to save the process.